Hey, so today I'm going to answer some Q&A's, no, not Q&A's, questions and answers. Well, I'm going to answer your cutes, and I'm going to give you my A's. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I a lot of people actually liked me doing these videos of, um, you know, Q&A. Uh, so I figured, why not, um, do it? If, you know, you guys like him, and I like answering your questions and, and trying to help as, as best as I can. So I have some questions here from you guys that I'm going to answer to the best that I can. Um, I asked you guys to a answer or ask me anything from serious to... Um, funny to silly to whatever. So, um, someone first said, what are the symptoms of clinical depression? Um, now, keep in mind, clinical depression is very misunderstood, and a lot of people ignore it because they don't understand it, but, um, Many people think that their brain is broken, they feel anxious, you know, or they cry, or become, you know, irritable over, over little, little things, like tiny things. Um, so, I guess, you know, in my opinion, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, symptoms, but definitely, you know, feelings of sadness or, you know, um, irritable, then I think that, you know, loss of interest in activities that you once enjoyed, um, sexual intercourse. Yeah, I just totally said sexual intercourse. <laughs> Sex, if you're not, you know, if that person's not really into, you know, having sex, um, if they don't really want to be around people, uh, thoughts of suicide or death, uh, that's definitely a big major one. Um, fatigue, very, very tired, loss of energy, weight loss or weight gain, um, you know, changing, uh, like sleep patterns, like if you're sleeping too much or too little, um, mood changes, stuff like that. So I think, I think I covered what I think, um, are some symptoms. So let's go to the next question. I'm trying to kind of weed them out because some are really, really serious. Um, and I kind of wanted to I felt like this one was a good one. Can clinically depression lead to suicide? Um, unfortunately, yes. Uh, research, research studies have shown that 15% of people um, with severe clinical depression will die of suicide. The hopelessness, the helplessness, you know, I have hiccups now, um, and the acute physical pain experienced by these people often lead them to despair and thoughts of suicide. So they feel like there's no way out and that they feel that suicide is the only option to their, their problems. And, you know, I've said this time and time again. Um, that suicide, you know, is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And, um, I don't think people believe that. I think that they think whatever the problem is at that time, that no matter what, it's never going to get better. And I've been there, um, and it does get better. Now, I'm not saying that 
every single thing is going to get better like that because it's not um, you know there's things that I have dealt with in life that I got over and there's things that I've dealt with in life that I'm still not over um, and there's things that I'm going through right now that I question sometimes will I ever get past a lot of that stuff um, or I ask myself you know um, is my eating disorder ever gonna get better am I ever gonna be actually in recovery um, you know just stuff like that will I ever go a day without being um, without having pain from all of my physical problems you know my nerve conditions my my bone spurs in my neck and my bulging disc in my neck and you know all of that stuff from being hit by a drunk driver so you know I have to question a lot if I will ever feel better um, you know and I don't know but so I think that you know when it comes to depression so many things can take you to depression um, I think a lot of people think that depression is just like oh you're gonna get over it just fucking get over it and you know it's not a big deal unfortunately it doesn't work that way um, it it just doesn't uh, you know depression is a serious serious thing and um, people don't take it seriously and I think that we need to take it seriously and take people seriously that have um, major depression because you know people commit suicide and we can prevent that I wholeheartedly believe that suicide can be prevented um, okay I ramble on a little bit about that so here's a couple questions that people have asked about me um, I'm gonna try to weed through them because I think a lot of them I've answered how old am I I'm 31 uh, what's your lucky number I don't really think I have one um, I definitely don't have a lucky number I I, in there, I just don't um, can you solve a Rubik's Cube you know I can't but I will sit there for a very very long time trying to figure that shit out it's hard it's fucking hard um, let's see If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Um, I think that I would love to have the power to be able to transport myself or other people to and from to like each other. Like I would love to be able to transport myself to someone that lives in London or France like just like that you know BAM I'm there I would love to have that superpower um, I think I would also love to be able to make people feel better if someone's down and feels really shitty about themselves and, and, and shitty about life I wish that I can just kind of do something you know instant that would be like wow holy shit it's like I don't feel sad anymore and you know I want to live and my life is great and stuff like that that's what I would want I would want to be able to have people feel good just like that um, have you ever been bungee jumping no I never have and I never fucking will because um, I'm scared of heights and I know I know that 
you know, we all have to get over our fears, but no, I, I will never get over uh, fear of heights. I, I just can't do it. I don't like roller coasters or any of that stuff. Um, are you a good lover? I like to think... I like to think that I'm a good lover. Um, I can only hope that I am a good lover. <laughs> uh, so I've heard that I am. Um, but yeah, I love people. You know, I love people. I care about people. Um, and I would do anything for people. So not just in a relationship, but, you know, people in general. Are you a good swimmer? I I could I mean I could swim, but I mean don't fucking put me like in no like Olympics swimming competition because no I wouldn't be able to do that. I mean I could swim normally, but enough to keep me not to die or drown. <laughs> How many hats do you own? Uh, too many to count. Yeah, there's way. I mean, I just counted like 12, and I can't even see the ones that are behind the hats. Um, have I ever been on TV? I have. Um, I've been on TV when Jamie Rodemeyer um, committed suicide. My video that I made for him um, went onto the news, and they played my video on the news. I think it was like the 11 o'clock news or something. And I also was on TV when I was 12, I think. Um, you're gonna laugh, but I loved bowling and I still do to this day. Um, I was on a thing called Pepsi Funtime Bowling Challenge and um, I still have the tape actually, like the, the VCR. Um, and I bowled against this other girl, and I actually kicked her ass, um, and it was on TV. It was on, like, some channel on TV. So, um, I was young. I had, like, this short mushroom-cut haircut. I don't know what my mom was thinking, but yes, I have been on TV. Um, I'm trying to think if I've ever been on TV other than that. Oh, I was on The Ellen Show. Um... Not like as a guest, but I was in the audience, and you were able to see me several times, actually. So, those three times, I guess. Um, do you have any scars? I do. I have several scars, and I think I actually made a video once before about scars. What's your favorite swear word? Well, I'm constantly always saying fuck, fucking, fuck, fucker, anything that has to do with fuck, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't think it's my favorite word, but it's, it's the word that I tend to use the most. Yeah. I would say fuck, I guess. Are you reliable? Absolutely. Um... Do you gamble? No. <laughs> Do you prefer green or red grapes? Um, I'd have to say green. I don't really... The red grapes kind of creep me out. Do you have a strong local accent? I don't think I have an accent, but a lot of people tell me that um, I've, I have an accent. A lot of people tell me that I talk um, like I'm from like Manhattan or Long Island or something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't pick it up, but I guess I do have a small accent. Um, it's mainly when it comes to like talk, call, ball, anything with an A or um, like that, small, call, fall, tall. See, it's like the A's or the L's. I don't know what it is. 
I don't know. But yeah, I guess I have a small <laughs> accent. Um, can you curl your tongue? No. I cannot, but I could do a lot of other things with my tongue. <laughs> That's what she said. What's the last thing you took a picture of? Um, oh, I took a picture of, on Instagram, I took a picture of this picture that says that um, labels are for soup cans because I believe that labels are for soup cans or for cans or for clothing, not for people. Can you blow bubbles with bubble gum? I can, and I could do really, really good, big <laughs> ones, and then they bust all over my face and in my labrag, and it's not, it's not, it's not good. It's not fun. <laughs> do you like clowns? I actually don't. I hate them. I'm petrified of clowns. I know that sounds really, really strange, but I do not like clowns, and I never have. Um, it's not that I am scared, like, oh my god, they're gonna get me, I'm just, they, I think that they're very freaky, and I don't think that they should be not, I don't know how kids can think that they're fun. What is so fun about a person that's dressed up with all kinds of makeup, that wears a ball, a big red ball on their nose, with a wig, and that does not talk and giggles really strange. I mean, come on, what the fuck is that shit all about? Like, that is not fun for me. I think that's scary. Like, just, yeah, no. I don't, no. Let's, we're not going there. <laughs> so that's it for today, guys. That's all for the Q's and A's. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, I would like to do this. I, I say it all the time. I really, um, I would love to do this more often because I, we, we do do it here and there and then we stop doing it and then we do it and then we stop. So let's get on a more regular schedule with the Q's and A's because I really enjoy answering them. I love your questions. Some of them are a little bit strange and fucking weird and freaky, but I love you guys no matter what. And um, I enjoy your questions, your serious, silly, funny, whatever they are. I enjoy them. So, peace and love. Be cool. Be kind. Don't judge. Um, I'll see you guys soon. And uh, have a good day. And um, until next time, I'm out. And I'm in my boxers again today. Shocking, right? I feel like I'm always in boxers. Anyway. I love you guys.